Well, commiserations, Mark, not the end of the season we wanted. How, how do you reflect it on tonight's game? Um, oh, I would say it seems to be a, a typical Reading, Reading night, if you like. We had re really good spells in the game. I thought first five or ten minutes, Rich, we were, we were just getting to grips with things and because and, they're, they're a good side, their movement's good off the ball as well. Then we, they, we seem to settle into our play and uh, probably the next 25, 30 minutes, I thought we were the better side. We were getting on the ball, playing good football, lots of possession. Um, obviously then, I think the first shot they had from 30 yards, got flies in, flies in the net, great shot from the fella. And then you're thinking, well, what have we done to deserve that? But again, after Yaku gets sent off for raising his hands and a little bit of indiscipline, I must say, I mean, the fella went down like he'd been shot, but I suppose he's entitled to if somebody raises their hands to him. But, you know, we should carry it to get back in the game then. And I think overall then, you know, you've got a difficult task against a side who are in, who are in good form and, and the way they play football. But um, you know, we, had, we had good discipline in our play, good work, filling gaps, keeping them, if you like, at bay. But, and then going into the last 20 minutes of the game, you know, they get another goal, sloppy defending from us, which has been, that's been a real, real one for me since we've come back, if you like, we've, we've been at times sloppy defending, not stopping crosses and things like that. But I think we had four four one on ones going into the into their penalty box and didn't take either one of them, which again has been a problem for us, scoring goals. You know, one or two one of those goes in, it's a different game again, even with ten men. But I said to the lads after I couldn't fault their um, you know their courage and their, their determination going through the game in general, but we missed we missed chances going forward their end and then were sloppy one or two times and got punished for it later on in the game. You mentioned the red card, obviously. I mean, as you, as you said, it feels like quite a harsh sort of uh, dynamic to have Yaku sent off, no, no punishment, and have to play the whole second half for 10 men. It just I mean, one of many decisions which were quite frustrating for us on the afternoon. Well, it's been a bit I, well, of a theme, hasn't it? I think I, I need a break as much as everybody else, mate, because, you know, the, I think, again, I feel like a broken record here, but the referee performance was way below standard. I thought we could have had a penalty in the first half. Didn't give the penalty. Then it was our corner. He didn't give us that. There was two balls down my side, which went out to play. The linesman didn't even see it. Didn't throw flag. So right through the game, I was just so frustrated with his performance. Um, I'm told by our analyst that the last goal they scored was offside as well. So one thing after another. But listen, you lose the game, you've got to put that behind you. The one thing we've got to do now, got to get. We've got a really, really important and busy summer. I'll well, say summer. It's going to be three weeks. You know, but. We've got to make sure that, that was it 10, 10, 10 players leaving the club. We've got to get make sure the recruitment's right to get them in. Make sure we've got a, a young, vibrant, hungry group of players going into next season. That's the point, isn't it? I guess you know the, you want to finish the season on a high, but irrespective, you know whatever happens going into the summer, hopefully you know you see it as a positive opportunity to to influence what what we do kind of in the start of next season, and that's where you know, hopefully you know. We want to regenerate and excite, you know, get some excitement back. Yeah, I think I think again, it, it, hindsight a wonderful thing, but I think, you know, we went into these last few games and I've looked back at it and thinking, well, you know, we did have a a, a significant proportion of players who were who were almost knew they wouldn't be staying at the club, you know, and then the motivation comes into it for them, you know, and we made significant mistakes at different times in the game. We got, you know, perhaps, you know, we got into mid-table safety really early if you like and we're looking to push on and we've just stagnated the last last three or four games certainly the last three games but it'll be uh, again a new beginning fresh start for next year that we're all already yeah i'm looking forward to it i'm looking forward next year to getting my players in my squad in and making sure we've got a winning mentality at the club absolutely and, and, and i suppose when you see how swansea celebrated we know what what was at stake for them it's kind of like gives you a bit of a Incentive to like this is what you actually want to achieve. You see, from you know, you get motivation from everywhere in football, and when you see what what they've achieved, it's kind of what you and what it's, you know, experience. Yeah, it? and it's teams that that really, if you go back, what even before the the the, the start of this back end campaign, we weren't, we weren't very far from from the Swansea's and the Cardiffs of this world. You know, it's just a case of getting that consistency in our play, which is what we have really got to strive for next year. You know, we get, I think of the the Luton game, the Charlton game, we get performances where. You think you know we're looking decent there, and then the next game we seem to just just switch off at vital vital times and cause ourselves problems. But um, you know I'm determined to put it right, Rich. We, you know we got I say it's a, we got a good club here, and we got we got financial.
problems at the moment, but we've got to make sure everybody's pulling in the same direction for next year. You know, felt for the fans, they haven't been able to come in the ground and, and support the team towards the back end. Please, please God, the start of next season, if it's not the first few weeks, then we'll soon get them back in the ground. And when they are in the ground, give them a team to be proud of. And that's the last point I was going to make, Mark, is that the fans, as you say, they've had to sort of be kept at arm's length and stuff, and they'll, they'll want to kind of be excited and come back to it. And it's a tricky time now because we can't go out and perform because we don't have the opportunity, you know, the season's over. So I guess it's just got a case of willing them to, to sort of stick with it. Yes, yeah, you know, it, it's, been, it's been a long season, difficult season for the fans, for everybody. You know, changing managers again, and, and you know, but we've we, we, we performed well to a point, we did. Because we know we were in the bottom, bottom two or three, and we've got the mid-table and around. We've seemed to be hanging around that 13th, 14th, 15th spot for, for, for you know for too long, and we didn't really have that that punch to really push on and jump into that top 10. But as I say, we, the whole club now got difficult times ahead, but we got to we got to pull together and make sure we're, we're all fighting as one next year.